Oh, he buried in Inglewood in our neighborhood. Inglewood, uh, he he is buried in Inglewood Park Cemetery across the street from the form, the old home of the Lakers. So that's all I got on this one, man. What a great fucking article. Now I want to go into this article dealing with the banning of uh boxing across state lines. It says, let me see, Congress enacted legislation 1912 banning international transportation of boxing films all right let me go into that ban of boxing films let me <coughs> check that shit out okay where is that it says a year of hope for joplin and johnson history okay this is it right here i got the article i'll pull that up in a hot second Census came for Jack Johnson fight film. Let me see which article is best. And let me see which article gives the most detail, which one is the best, and I'll read through that one. It's always good to fucking read, people. It's always good to read. And I don't mind doing that shit on here. It's always good. It's what we should do. Bust open, get our knowledge. Get our knowledge up. Get your knowledge up, god damn it. So let me see. Is this going to be the one I want to read? John Johnson. So the four, uh, dun, dun, Reno. Let me see. I want to see the banning. This one going into his life career. Just trying to find an article that covers <clears throat> this law passed that banned this shit. Let me see. It might be this other one here. Hold on. All right, here we go. Let's see. This should be it right here. Okay, there it is. So I found it. Uh, let me read y'all comments. And then I'll get this article put up about them trying to ban Jack Johnson's uh, Jack Johnson film and him beating up white folks and telling them eating how you feel eating leather and shit. <laughs> Tell it to the trainers and crowd. So let me go back in here and let me finish reading more of the comments and we get back to this shit. So we got a his cold history lesson. And then let me see. Where do I left off at? All right, we left off at Thug and Chuck Taylor's comment. Let me go to my cuzzos. Deuce Time says, homie, look at the uh, that comment again. Yeah, my bad, cuzzo. You a major apology. Always right, Reg is wrong than a motherfucker. Now I'm always wrong. He says, look it up. Says uh, that uh, says that indicted uh, R. Kelly says on a man act. And then uh, Big Dog Woody says Jack Johnson was having one uh was having one man orgy with ten white women says and bragged about uh bragged about to white uh, police officers says that's why they were so hot so Jack Johnson says the legend in my eyes says did not give a fuck yeah Jack Johnson is true to life American legend Yovi with the flames Con Shiner in the rolling Philip Bates says and I'm gonna load this to my damn Instagram because I'll be wanting to spread this history for motherfuckers. We don't learn our shit and take pride in people like these guys who've been dead for hundreds of years. Fred Bates, or even when Blood Boxing and post these documentaries and watch this shit, people that talk this history. Fred Bates says, yes, yeah, says I felt the same way, deuce time. And then uh, James Johnson says, shout out to, to myself in the chat. Salute my brother James. Fred Bates says, ain't no way Kells could do all that shit with all them people around him daily, uh, says daily, says the dude, man, you'd be surprised what motherfuckers do with people around them when you got money and what people would tolerate. Philip A says, I laugh my ass off, inhumane, brute strength. That's what they wrote to Jack. Philip A says, Jack says, boy, they hated old Jack, says, uh, says, goddamn old Jeb, uh, was hot. He says, and that's the real reason these niggas want that, uh, fight overturned, says, they bet against the kid, says Haney, and fuck them though. Says can't stand can't stand the law. Says don't bet. Absolutely don't bet. You can't accept losing. <clears throat> Con Shani says if you watch the film of uh, Johnson versus Willard, says you know that uh, you knew he threw the fight. Oh yeah, that's the one they fought in like Cuba or somewhere, right? Says he goes down, lays on the canvas, says with his uh, hands on his uh, with his hands over his face to block the glaring sun uh, from his eyes. Says and waiting to uh, wait to be counted out because a. Uh, uh, Federal federal people told him he can come back in the country. Shit, yeah, I believe that shit. All right, so let me go into this one about banning his films coming through this country. So when the censors came for Jack Johnson fight films, so let's go into this history. Friday AV uh, AV Club says the boxer who just got the post hom uh, hominis. I, I always say that fucking post hominis. I forgot what I used to call it. Shit, presidential pardon. 
was a central figure in one of the first battles over movie censorship. Let a black man shine, they'd be ready to ban that shit. <clears throat> the president was uh, post-ceremoniously pardoned, oh, has uh, pardoned Jack Johnson. Jack Johnson, the first black heavyweight champion, was convicted in 1930, uh, 1913 of violating the Man Act, which prohibited the interstate transport uh, of any woman or girl for the purpose of prostitution or debauchery or for any other immoral purpose. More specifically, he crossed state lines with a white girlfriend. Races resented Johnson's victories in the ring. They resented, let me highlight this shit for those who want to read along with it. Uh, resented his victories in the ring, said they resented his refusal to be modest about his success. See, that's what they want. They want you to be toned down with your successes. You shine too much, they hate and be want to go for you. So they resented his wealth. And they resented the fact that he slept with white women. So they used one of the progressive eras, most notorious, more reforms to punish him. But they didn't uh, just target Johnson himself. The boxer also became a central figure in one of the earliest battles over movie censorship. Oh, so it's all part of the man. I guess that politician, the man dude, you know, was just trying to target this dude. After Johnson's 1910 victory over James Jeffries, the so-called Great White Hope, anti-black and anti-boxing crusaders blocked local screeners, local screenings of a film that showed the match. In 1912, citing the same motion picture, Congress passed the Sims Act. Old code, so it's called the Sims Act, which banned. I'm gonna go into the. Let me let me write that in there. It's the Sims Act. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Congress. Oh, I'm going to finish this article. Congress Sims Act. Let's see. 1912. Okay, there we go. We can, we getting into some shit. So this live turns out longer than I thought I made this shit. So here we go. Going to this history here. So I'm going to the Sims Act is the actual name of this fucking act. Sims Act. Oh, wait. Congress.gov got this shit. Let me go to Congress.gov to get this info. Where is that Congress.gov shit? Hold on. Let me make sure I pull that up. May have to pull that one. Let me finish this article here. Ain't that some? This just shows the bigotry in this motherfucker. All right. So uh, did I finish that? Citing the same motion pictures Congress passed Sim Act, which banned the transport of five films over state lines. That law led in turn to one of the uh to one of the strangest episodes in film history so it fucked up film as well in 1916 in 1916 the group brought a film of johnson's recent fight against jess willard to a tent erected on the uh on the boundaries separating new york and Qu from quebec they then projected the <laughs> they then projected the movie from Canada onto a screen on the U.S. side of the border, where it was re uh, rephotographed on American soil. The idea was to import the images without actually importing. Them. <laughs> Salute to these people right here because they ain't playing to that racial bullshit. Salute to these motherfuckers right here. Salute to these motherfuckers right here, man. Always stand up against wrong. Says the idea was to import the images without actually transporting the film, or at least to have a plausible sounding story once the movie turned up in New York. Today, you need no such uh, feints, or says, or I, I guess I'm saying the words feints, to see, uh, to see the film. Johnson Willard fight is on YouTube, and I have... Uh, and then he says, the person says they have embedded it here. All right. So I'm not going to play it. I don't want to, if it's a strike, it says Willow one, that one it says, those of you, let me highlight that. It says, those of you who want to see Johnson win a contest says can check out some highlights of his fights with Jeffries below. It says, I unfortunately can't uh, find a full film uh, of that match online. So this is that. And you can't find it because they, Pause it. They stop that shit. Okay, so this ain't a full one. So that person wrote a little short article and added his clips in it. So let me go into Congress, uh, the congressional thing on the Sam's Act. Let me see. Let me pull up 
this Congress website, congress.gov, and I want to find the Sims Act of 1912, I believe that was. Let me see. Let me see. Is this it? So I'm trying to pull this out. Oh, wait, no, this is Sims Act of 1912. No, no, this is wrong. Hold on, they gave me the wrong shit, but I found another article I think I can find. Let me see. On this 19, Sims Act. All right, here, I think it is. Here we go. This is it. This is it right here, folks. This looks good. Somebody created this. Let's see, Georgia. Boom, boom. Okay, bam. This is it. This is a good quick summary of what the Sims Act is. So let me pull this shit up. So July 13th. 19, wait, let me go back up, 1912. So here we are. Let me make sure it looks good on the screen. Matter of fact, let me expand it for those to be able to view it, want to read along with it. So view from inside and outside the ropes, personal perspective of boxing and more. So this person wrote theirs on July 31st, 2019, but this is the Sims Act of July 31st, 1912. The Sims Act, the Sims Act, was passed by the United States Congress in response to the uh, race riots that occurred after Jack Johnson, Jim Jeffries fight. Jim Jeffries came out of retirement to challenge Johnson, says he had lost 100 pounds to get in the ring, blah, blah, blah. They're going through all that in front of 20,000 people. Says uh, Southern racists did not want the film of an African-American beating a white man shown anywhere, but it was the result. Uh, says, but was the result was a race riot. So here go a ticket. That's what tickets look like. This pretty, pretty nice looking tickets for that time period. So on July 4th, uh, Johnson next July on July 4th, 1912, Johnson next defended his title against fireman Jim Flynn in New Mexico in a 45 round bout says despite being warned by the referee Flynn continuously attempted to headbutt Johnson and the local sheriff eventually stepped in at the ninth round to stop the fight in Johnson's favor. The fight was filmed and producers hoped to successfully distribute it just as Jeffrey's fight had been. Aware of the riots from the 1910 fight, Southern congressmen introduced, uh, introduced bill that would outlaw the interstate transport of fight films. Southern races did not want the film of an african-american beating a white man shown anywhere but it was the result of sorry <laughs> read that last part but it was and the result was race rights so july 4th 1912 this is the flynn ninth round knockout uh says about which was responsible for passing the sims act so is this one the ninth round uh, knockout with a fire the police somebody stepped in Represented Seaborn Rosenberg, uh, Rosenberry or Rodenberry of Georgia referred to Johnson specifically as an African uh, biped beast, <laughs> whatever that shit's supposed to be, by a uh, uh, beast, and stated, No man descended from the old Saxon race can look upon that kind of contest without ab uh, abherence and disgust. These Southern races did not want a film of an African-American beating a white man shown anywhere. And that's what happened when you allow rate Southern politicians to try to run shit. Representatives Titus Sims of Tennessee pressed the bill forward and it became known as the Sims Act. And it became law on July 31st, 1912. This law prohibited, and that shit crazy. So world went without seeing televised fights for a while. This law prohibited uh, prize fights. I mean, people went to theaters to go watch fights. Prohibited prize fights uh, to be filmed, says, but they uh, could not be distributed across. All right, let me get that right. This law prohibited, meaning allowed uh, prize fights to be filmed, but could not be distributed across state lines. A community hosting the uh, prize fight could see the film, but they would not. But they would also have to deal. With the uh, with the uh, consequence as a result of this uh, of this showing, but it opened an option for Hollywood to produce boxing themed films. 
And so that's all I got on that one. Wish I can go more in debt on this shit. But damn, what what history and what motherfucking shit people have to overcome dealing with this type of bullshit. Ah, wow, that's some good stuff right there. But folks, that's all I got on this one, man. Thank y'all for stopping through on this one. Let me chop this video up and uh put out this history. We want to keep this history rolling and shit.